Welcome to our Immigration.ca live stream series. I'm Erica, and today we are here with immigration lawyer Colin Singer, managing partner of Immigration.ca and SkilledWorker.com. Today we will be discussing Canada's best job markets under the Express Entry in 2021. So, right, Erica. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining. Um, so, really important topic is uh, what are the most important jobs? Why finding work is so important for so many applicants to Canada? Um, and first and foremost, uh, having a job obviously gets you points under the express entry system. Uh, depending on the occupation, either you get 50 points or it could even be 200 points uh, if it's a, a managerial, high level managerial position. Uh, so that's the one of the most important reasons for, for having a job in hand. Uh, obviously for some people having a job is a, a good indicator of a, a great start to Canada. Uh, but for some of the provincial programs, having a job is really vital because their programs depend on an applicant having a sponsoring employer. Uh, having a job for some people, uh, although you might qualify quickly for permanent residence, uh, you can also come to Canada on a work permit. And having a work permit uh, obviously gets you to Canada, gets you points, uh, but for those that really need to come to Canada quickly, it's dependent on the employer, of course. The employer has to sponsor you. And for some of the employers, uh, getting you to Canada quickly is really important. And even under COVID, you can come to Canada on a work permit. Uh, so the fact that we're in the uh, grips of a, uh, a second wave uh, under COVID, which now the numbers are significantly coming down. Uh, and it seems uh, that uh, the vaccination programs are, are going to take hold at some point. Having an, a job in hand will get you, uh, for some employers uh, who need you here quickly, you can come to Canada quickly uh, and get a labor market impact assessment and, and a work permit. So um, we're going to talk about the most important jobs in Canada, where can they find that? Yeah, so on our website at immigration.ca, you would be able to find it under our articles. You can find it from January 25th, 2021. So, uh, Erica, we know from government data that in 2020, Canada issued over 100,000 invitations uh, uh, for permanent residents under the express entry system. And uh, that explains, in part, uh, why uh, people are going to want to figure out how can you become one of those 100,000 plus individuals. Uh, very few of those individuals uh, are in need of having a job offer. Uh, most of those individuals um, qualify in their own right to come to Canada. But for those who are under the current threshold, uh, of an express entry uh, draw, uh, which is in the 469 range, and we haven't had an all uh, program draw yet this year. Uh, so expect that the number, the, uh, the point total that you're gonna need, the CRS score, expect that to climb significantly uh, because Canada has not had an all program draw yet this year. Uh, so for those who wanna become part of the 100,000 plus express entry invitations to apply, having a job is really important. It's, it's really a strong pathway to Canadian uh, permanent residence. Uh, should we go into the main, main occupations? So the main occupations, uh, really, this was coming from last year, okay? This is, this is the main occupations that were consistent with the 2020 numbers but we are going to extrapolate those occupations and hold to the uh, um, assumption that most of those occupations, except with a few, uh, are going to be very important under express entry in 2021. So top of the list, as it generally is in uh, year after year, is the technology people. Uh, so if you're a software engineer, a software designer, um, those are the higher end technology positions and you are at top of the list, that's the number one occupation in 2020, 
And that's an occupation, obviously, if you've got those skill sets um, and you're not going elsewhere and you want to come to Canada, um, you're in demand, okay? You're in demand, whether it's uh, under express entry or whether it's employers in certain parts of the country. And you're looking at a really good base salary, obviously. Uh, that's an important consideration. Top of the line uh, software engineers in Toronto, you're looking at about 140000 even $150,000 per year. Uh, but some of the smaller provinces, some of the smaller job markets uh, with less experience, the salary could go down to in the high 70s, 70, 78000 uh, So it really depends on where you're going to settle. And we're going to cover that uh, in a little bit uh, as to where you should be targeting your employment search. Uh, so in terms of IT people, um, it's also important to know that some of the provinces, like British Columbia, they specifically target technology professionals and they have draws under the express entry system uh, specifically catering to the technology uh, professions. All right, so also high on the list are, are those in the finance, accounting, auditing, uh, middle management, those occupations are in demand as well. Obviously, they, uh, uh, it's a wide range of occupations in that broad grouping, uh, and that explains the broad range of salaries from 55000 per year to 125000 per year. Uh, also on the list uh, are administrative assistants. Um, you have interesting that was on the list last year, uh, very high on the list, but I think this year we can probably safely say those in the restaurant and food service managerial level uh, might not uh, find the success this year uh, in terms of getting employment as they did last year for obvious reasons. Uh, most of the restaurants are now under various kinds of restrictions uh, in terms of the number of people that they let in. A lot of restaurants have pivoted to offering takeout and such so the occupation is going to see a different metric in 2021. Um, so if you're in the, uh, as well, if you're in advertising and marketing or public relations, very in-demand uh, field for you, uh, and you're encouraged to look to the Canadian labor market uh, to consider uh, bridging uh, your application uh, for permanent residence. All right, let's tell people the generalities of where not to look for employment. Give some, yeah. Let's give some perspective. So as everyone may be aware from our previous presentations, candidates from overseas have the best chances if they expand their interests beyond Toronto, Montreal, Vancouver, and Calgary as well. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's very common. You look at Toronto, the number of immigrants to Canada each year, 50% are going to Toronto. And we try to encourage people, um, go beyond Toronto, expand your horizons uh, in terms of employment opportunity and quality of life, uh, go beyond the major cities. Uh, for example, you've got the, uh, what's known as the Toronto Commuter Belt. The, the Commuter Belt is uh, a wide uh, stretch of uh, cities and towns going uh, westward from Toronto, south and southwest. Um, so, Kitchener-Waterloo, for example, uh, these types of, of uh, municipalities offer great employment opportunities and great quality of life. Um, as well, last year, uh, certain smaller cities were doing remarkably well in terms of employment opportunities. Um, St. John, New Brunswick, um, you had Halifax, Nova Scotia, two metropolitan areas on the east side of Canada where employment increased year over year significantly. Uh, obviously, in the current uh, economic environment, you're not going to see, obviously, those kinds of employment creation. Uh, obviously, unemployment is much higher uh, in 2021, uh, but expect those numbers to start going downwards uh, as the COVID uh, pandemic is brought under control and Canadians become vaccinated and that, you know, that timeline looks to be the third quarter. But 
immigration to Canada is still in full force. Uh, government is still uh, planning to uh, curtail and, and deal with the economic downfall that has been brought on by COVID through the immigration strain. So uh, very uh, keep, keep tuned for the next six months or so, and you will start to see uh, really big numbers of people getting into Canada under this uh, larger um, economic program. Um, other cities in Canada that have really fared well and continue to fare reasonably well, comparatively speaking, to uh, the grand uh, employment market, Saskatoon, Saskatchewan in central Canada, uh, Kelowna, BC was doing really well last year in probably one of the top employment creation um, um, uh, metropolitans uh, from year over year. So uh, don't focus on the big cities, even though uh, you're, it's, it's tempting to do so. Obviously, there's family, there's friends, uh, but you want to look at employment opportunities and quality of life. Uh, your employment opportunities expand considerably if you start moving outside the major cities. All right, um, I guess what you need to know is obviously a job helps um, and you need to really be aware of all the provincial programs. Let's tell people how we help them uh, on the employment side. Yes, so you can always go to our website, immigration.ca, and you, if you would like to see if you are eligible, you can fill out our free online assessment form. Uh, we are here to provide all of our clients with excellent job searches through skilledworker.com and grnmontreal.com as well. Uh, in fact, we are currently recruiting for a number of technology positions on behalf of employers through in Quebec and Ontario and elsewhere. So I guess the takeaway is when we are working with you, we are in a position to help you stand out from other job seekers, even from overseas. Uh, all our mandates include one-on-one uh, -on -one tuition, uh, two hours of face-to-face -face live tutorials on how to improve uh, your job search services, your job search skills. Uh, we do one-on-one uh, -on -one video conferencing, teaching you how to have a great online presence a great CV, a video CV. Uh, our job search includes a great up-to-date database of employers. We teach you how to identify employers that are hiring. So everyone who would be working with us, we teach you how to stand out from others uh, in uh, the labor market that are, you're um, trying to find a job in. So. Well, thank you very much, Colin. Uh, please follow us on all of our social media pages. You can find us at Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, immigration.ca. Please share all of our content. Please like our pages. And thank you so much for watching us today. Thanks so much. We'll see you soon.